Hey guys, I am back with another do-it-yourself guitar project for just a hundred bucks. This particular body style and this particular kit, I've been looking at it for a while. They've been on eBay, AliExpress, various places. And if my memory serves me correct, I could swear like about two years ago that these were going for like $200. Recently, I noticed that the price started coming down. And then, all of a sudden, I see it for $101.78, I think. So technically, I didn't get it for $100, but close enough. Let's take a look and see what is inside. What did I get for my $100? I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna open the lid up, take it out piece by piece, and show you what we got. I'm gonna start with the body style. This is a body style that I've never had ever. I don't think I've ever even played a guitar with this body style before. It's been around since the 80s. It's famous. You'll know it when you see it. And I've always thought like, wow, that's really cool. I would love to have one of those. All right, you guys ready? Whoa, check it out. It's one of those like Steinberger style guitars. Headless, has no headstock. This is set up for two humbuckers and a volume and a tone and a three-way toggle and then it's got that bridge back here. I think it's a whammy bridge, I'm not totally sure. I won't know until I take out all the parts. Uh, the body's made of basswood. So checking out the body, it's pretty smooth. I mean, it's probably on par with like the other made in China bodies that I've bought that are made of basswood, you know, as far as the routing and the, the general construction on the body, I guess you could say. Yeah, looks pretty good. There was not like a whole lot of padding in the box, just this like thin layer of foam. And the box that they use, they must just have like one size fits all for the boxes. They probably put their strat kits in, in there as well. Um, the space for the body is basically big enough to fit a strat body. So this was in there, in that space, which means it could be like sliding around during shipping. And it came from New Jersey to California. And even though it was probably sliding around in there, there aren't any like dents or gouges in the body, which I kind of expected, but no. Good job, UPS. Let's take a look at the neck. It's supposed to be a rosewood fretboard. And if I can get the old cellophane or whatever that is off. So let's take a look here. Yeah, all right, here it is. 24 frets, guys, and that is rosewood. It's an actual slab of rosewood, which is cool. It's not that cheap composite wood that they're using on some guitars now. Yeah, it's good, it's nice, it's smooth. Okay, not too huge. You never know when you're getting these guitars from China. That's one of the things that worries me the most is like, is the neck profile gonna be that like baseball bat profile, which I hate and which I've gotten sometimes. Um, but this appears not to be that, it's good. I mean, it's a little bit rough, but I mean, that's fine. On all these things, you always have to count on doing like some sanding work and then finishing work and whatever you're gonna put on there. I will end up putting tongue oil on the back of the neck. So I'll sand it nice and smooth, apply the tongue oil, do that whole process. The frets, uh, a tiny bit of sharpness on the fret edges, but not very noticeable. So I might do a little bit of filing on the edges. The main thing and like the most important thing, and if you've watched my videos before, you've heard me say this a bunch of times and I'm gonna say it over and over again because it is so true. The most important thing on any guitar is the neck and the fret work. If you've got like a bunch of high frets and the frets are not even, you can't get low action, and even if you try to get like semi low action, you get a bunch of fret buzz and then it just doesn't play well and it sounds like garbage. So the main thing that I'll be checking is I'll be getting out my little fret rocker and checking the frets and to see if they are level or not. And then if they aren't, I'll have to do some sanding on some of those frets. The frets are basically the usual frets that I see on all these import guitars coming from China which is sort of a medium jumbo. They're not the big jumbo jumbo ones like you would get on a Charvel or a Jackson, and they're not the really, really tiny ones that I've seen occasionally. So, yeah, it's, you know, for a hundred bucks, good enough, I guess. All right, so that's the neck. Interesting, right? So, no headstock. So, I'm assuming there's a piece that's gonna go there. Let's see what comes in the bag of pieces. I'm really curious. I'm gonna cut it open and take a look. 
and we will go through these pieces one by one and see what we got. Okay, all right, first of all, yeah, the pickups. So the pickups, you can see without taking them completely out of their little bag here, they are those like flat plastic covered pickups, sort of like the imitation EMG pickups, the kind that you would expect to see in this kind of guitar. Although these obviously are not EMG pickups, they're not active, they're just plain regular cheapo pickups. I'm really not expecting very much out of these pickups at all because when they, uh, when they make these guitars and you know the really really cheap ones like this, they're trying to make it as cheap as, as they can, they just use really cheap pickups and they don't have very much output and they don't sound very good so I don't know, we'll see how it goes with the pickups. I'm not really planning to like upgrade this guitar and put higher end parts or better parts or better pickups because I don't know at this point if it's a guitar that I will play a lot. So we'll see. I'll install it with these pickups and we'll see what it sounds like. And you'll hear what it sounds like when I do the follow-up video and the guitar is completely done. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, you might want to hit that subscribe button now so that you don't miss that follow-up video when I eventually get to it. Okay, so this answers the question about whether the bridge is a whammy bridge. It definitely is because here's the bar. And if you can see the bar, it's not, doesn't appear to be like the screw-in type because there are no threads on that. So I guess it's just going to be like a pop-in, push-in thing. What else do we have? What else do we have here? Okie dokie. So we've got the wiring, guys. The wiring. So we've got the two black knobs. That's cool. Yeah. So on this kit, for whatever reason, and not a big deal because I do know how to solder and I have a sold soldering iron, they did not like the wiring is not soldered to the switch and usually they do you know as much as they can for you but not in this case okay here's one thing that I was kind of wondering about and a little worried about I'm gonna pull this part out because I want to show you guys it's the input jack so take a look at the input jack so I don't know what I'm gonna have to do every time I build a guitar or whatever put something together there's always some issue that I have to tackle that I never had to do in the previous builds and this is going to be one of them. And I've got to decide how I'm going to take care of this. And I had a feeling this was going to be the case when I'm looking at the pictures and I, I know how these jacks are shaped, right? This is what they call like the football jack. And it curves like this, right? You guys can see the curvature there. The problem with that is that on the body, see where the input jack goes? It is curved like this this, but the jack is curved the opposite way. Oh, look at that. Can you guys see that? Nice little gap in there. What should I do, guys? Should I try to bend it? And if I bend it, because it's black, it's coated in black, you know, like sometimes when metal is painted or something and then you bend it, it's gonna cause the paint to crack and like chip off and stuff. So will that happen? I don't know. The only other option, which is, probably more of a pain in the butt would be to kind of route out, you know, like draw a little outline of the input jack with a pencil and then route it out so it's kind of recessed in there. That sounds like a lot of work though. Or I could just screw it on like that and it's sticking up, but that looks really bad. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. We've got the control cavity cover for the back of the guitar, as well as the neck plate and the gasket and all of the screws for that. And it appears it is uh, the little front piece that goes at the end of the neck. You know, since there's no headstock, I think that's in there as well. Okay, what else? You know what, I think we're just down to a couple of things here. The bridge, let's take a look at what the bridge looks like. I'm really curious about this bridge. I've never really looked at one of these up close before. I don't really know what the features are. I mean, obviously they're gonna have some kind of tuners on there since there's no headstock. You have to be able to tune this thing, right? Can you guys see that? All right, here's the back of it. All right, so, um, what is this guy right here? Anybody have experience with these guitars? I have no idea what that is or what that does. Interesting looking bridge. Um, it says, Okay, it's got a name imprinted on there. Overlord of Music. Who's the Overlord of Music? I guess he lives in China, because this is made in China. 
Um, and then the other interesting thing, where's the whammy bar? Here it is. So it looks like the whammy bar would go right in there, but it's got a hole on the other side too. Like this guitar, like, I mean, this bridge, it like can be switched for right-handed or left-handed, I guess, either way. And how does this thing connect to the body? That's another thing I have to figure out. So I've never played one of these bridges before, never installed one of them on a guitar. I've got to figure all this out. Um, hopefully there are some tutorials on YouTube on how to put one of these together. All right guys, so what do you think about this? I mean, is this, is this an interesting project? For me, it's really cool, really fun. I'm really looking forward to putting the paint on there and putting the whole thing together. I'm way more excited about the building of it and the do-it-yourself aspect than I am of like, oh, when it's done, I'm gonna have this finished guitar to play. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see the paint design. I've got a really cool paint design in mind that I've never done on any guitars and I don't have on any of my guitars and it's kind of a cool graphic that I like in general. So hopefully that turns out well, we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video, bye.